Hiya, I'm Kelly Cooper, I'm 27 years old and I've just started a college course to improve myself. This is a blog about my journey, because I can't really be bothered to keep a diary. Now, just by looking at me, you can probably guess what I'm going to be studying. Yes, I'm training to be a beautician. So, I've signed up for a women's studies course specialising in feminism, because every woman likes to look feminist, don't she? It just makes you feel good. And don't let anyone tell you that women make themselves look feminist just for men. They don't. They do it for themselves. Well, I suppose I've always been interested in looking feminist ever since I was a little girl. I've always loved the colour pink, which is obviously the most feminist colour. All my lipsticks are pink. And of course, the lips are the most feminist part of the woman's body. Especially when they're not talking and just smiling. I like smiling. I think girls smile more than boys and I think they look more prettier when they're doing it. It's just something they're naturally better at. Alright, I'm going to read you a little piece from the essay that I've been doing today. It's a bit weird actually, because I thought we was just going to move straight on to hair removal, which is obviously one of the main things that make women feel feminist, but instead we've got this mental woman who just starts talking to us about poetry. Not even anything anyone's ever heard of either. No free blind mice, no bar bar black sheep, not even a sniff of Humpty Dumpty. She starts reading her stuff by this woman Cynthia, Cynthia Path, but I couldn't really concentrate because she had really bad roots, you know, grey. And I was thinking, oh, she's going to ask one of us to do something about those at some point, and pff, I don't know, it's going to be a really big job. I think she said there was a storybook as well, though. What was it, the uh, jam jar? So maybe it's got recipes in it, so that'll be nice. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, let's take a look at my essay. Cynthia Path is a woman poet that nobody has ever heard of. She was accidentally killed while she was cleaning the oven, which, if you think about it, is a nice feminist way to go, but it is also sad. If I was to meet Cynthia Path today, I would ask her if she had enough money to get a cleaner and or a microwave. I would also tell her that takeaways are fine for the whole family to eat and that no one really minds if you don't cook no more because as long as you look good, you can still be regarded as a really feminist woman. That's as far as I got. <laughs> 